I came in here in 1981 with my aunt and uncle. I got my first job at McDonald's. There, I was able to learn how to, you know, cook, cashiering. I decided that I want to move out on my own and get, you know, my own place. A few years after, like, I got established, you know, in my first home, me and my girlfriend became homeless. We started here at the charities, talked to the coordinator, asking him, you know, what steps that we need to take to, uh, you know, get our housing back. In the beginning, I was kind of frustrated. I was kind of paranoid at the same time, you know, what if something happens to me while I'm sleeping, you know? Finding housing, you know, here in St. Paul, successfully, don't work out because, you know, for whatever reason, then I had to come back to the door today and then try again, you know, get more housing done, move back out again. So that's basically how it's been for the past 12 years, on and off, in and out, in and out. So it's, it's, it's kind of like I'm just keep coming back every time I, you know, if it doesn't work out, regardless of how I got there, knowing that they're there to pick me back up if, you know, if the chips fall back down again for me, you know. So they say they are in my corner, you know, Anyway, so, so that's, a, that's how I've been doing. My next step would be just wait till this new high rounds is being done. So I'm gonna be on the independent floor. Help me. And um, be able to come and go whenever. What's your room number? 327. 327. It means, you know, being somewhere where I can relax and not have to worry about like yeah, the things, some of the things that I'm facing. It's still hard to me to believe that, you know, that, you know, this is actually happening. Because uh, it was been a rough, it's been a pretty rough time in my life the past 12 years. Rough ride. But this is going to make it a lot easier for me, though, to uh, get my goals. I can see the picture a lot clearer now. I'm, I'm just trying to believe that, you know, that, is this really happening? You know. We're going to room 327. Since January 13th, it's been about 30 days. I walked in, I was greeted, and we went up to the second floor, we got my keys. You know, just finally saying, my keys, you're finally out. You're finally here. You're finally able to go out. You climb that ladder. And welcome, welcome to the new heart <laughs> And I was just, I almost burst into tears. To have a place that I can finally call home. That's very exciting to me. That thought itself is just very exciting. I still feel excited to this day, you know what I mean? That feeling hasn't gone away. I don't think it ever will. A bed that's got a um, couple of drawers. Don't have to worry about where I'm gonna sleep at night. You know, it just filled in the gap that um, I was strongly, you know, needed, you know, needed help in. It's a nice feel. You know, I was just going um, in between places, sleeping on, on the side of the street, you know, in ditches and side of the roads, you know, um, apartment buildings where I shouldn't have been in. So, um, it was a struggle. Could you left right here? See, see? 
In the meantime, you know, I'm still doing um, my little job search and um, you know, meeting with my caseworker and trying to, uh, you know, go to school and continue to uh, work with staff to help me while I'm here. And she is wonderful. Kathy Shirley is my backbone. <laughs> They're there to pick me up. They rescued me at the time when I needed them, and I still do. And so uh, they made it possible. Without them, I wouldn't even be where I'm at today, you know? So yes, thank you. Appreciate it.